Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is the Power Rangers, a Ranger Slayer from Hasbro. Um, I gotta say, so I'm not a Power Rangers fan. Like, it's not something I, I grew up with. It's not something I watch. Uh, and I've read some of the comics here and there. Like, I've seen the television show a bit, but it just it never clicked for me. I've read some of the comics. I, I kind of started reading the, the storyline this character came out of. Uh, and the characters, this is a really freaking cool design. I, I like the character. I actually think when I saw this toy, I was like, this is really cool. I, you know, I'm not a Power Rangers collector, so it's not something I was like, oh, I need to get. Uh, but I lucked out, and Hasbro hooked me up with a copy to, to show off and review. So, super psyched about that, because this is kind of a freaking cool character and really cool uh toy. Uh, so, the Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer is part of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. We're going to open up and show it off. We can show it in the box here. Check out the back of it. Um, I don't want to go into the, like the the whole story of the character, uh, but go check out the comics from Boom is where uh, she debuted, and I think it's uh, Shattered Grid was the debut. I, I'm not 100% sure it's the storyline, but I'm pretty sure that's the storyline. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, it's you know just an alternate Power Rangers story world, and we're gonna. Show off the character and or the figure and go from there. Oh, I just like shot myself with something. <laughs> okay. That's kind of a pain in the butt to get out. Apparently the cape comes off, so let's let's stand the character up without the cape. No issue at all standing up. Let's stand up the character with the cape. Again, no issue standing up. Alright, we like to do the, the bend test. Show off movement of the feet. Lots of movement side to side, up and down. Knee. It is a double joint at the knee. Nothing on the sh the Shin, it doesn't look, oh, yep, the thigh's got some twist to it. We got, of course, hip movement expected. Arm, full solid articulation. Elbow, like that. And the hand. He's got some movement at the wrist. Um, and then we'll go with the of course, the movement's slightly hampered on the left arm with the cape. So, you know, that's keep in mind. All right, I hit myself with the a hand. So we got uh, extra hands. We got two hands that came in with this. Looks like there's some uh, weapons, some bows, some, like, pink thing. I guess we can fire that with the, the bow and arrow. Cool. All right, let's go, let's go check this out. Let's, let's do some, have some fun with... Our uh, Ranger Slayers. Let's go look at this. I'm guessing this is a weapon of some sort. Seriously, I like really don't know the series, so I'm not quite sure how this weapon is in the hand. Is that it? I re I really don't know. I I'm kind of embarrassed on this one. I I have no freaking idea. Uh, it looks like there's a holster on the side, though, so I'm going to assume the, whole, the holster holds that. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. So the, the cape comes off every so often a little bit. The cape's a little loose, which is like, not necessarily a good thing. It's not really a bad thing. It's, just, it's a thing. I know there's, like, an image with the character... Firing three arrows. All right, so it doesn't look like there's an up and down, like a real, like a top and a bottom for the bow. All right, so let's see here. So, what is this with toys now and making it really difficult to get, like, weapons and hands? I remember being able to put my G.I. Joe stuff in without, like, any issue at all. Alright. I 
Got that in eventually. So the question is, can I... Ah, uh, and of course it comes out. So there's like these three bow or three arrows. I'm kind of thinking you can do something like that. But the other hand, so this fist is closed, so there's definitely nothing with that fist that I can do. This hand, this hand would be a right hand, so that doesn't really help at all. So there's a, there's a, looks to be a left hand that's closed and a right hand that's not, so that's not super helpful. So I don't really know what this goes to. That looks really horrible. All right, let's do this like big giant pink thing. There's this, which actually looks kind of cool. All right, that is way easier. Of course, the arrow. Like, the, okay, so the figure is really cool. The, these accessories are kind of a pain in the butt. Looks like you know I should be able to do something with the arrow. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed by whoever set this up, because I can't quite figure out how to do some cool poses with this. I mean, I, I guess. Eh, whatever. Um, so the accessories are a little, feels like a little kind of chintzy on this. Um, but there's potential here if I ever kind of actually figure out what the hell I'm doing. Like, there's, there's potential for some cool... some cool images. So the thing that would that would be kind of cool is if there was a way for it to hook onto this end. So then it would just kind of hold itself. Like if it like hooked on where the the bow is. Because right now kind of got that going. I guess that works. Yeah. We're going to call it a day on that one. All right, so the figure it, the figure itself looks really cool. The accessories are kind of like a little fiddly. So go with it. Like this feels like one that you have to just kind of set up and and leave and it is what it is. Um the helmet doesn't come off. It would be really cool if the helmet came off. Yeah, it doesn't look like the helmet comes off and there's like a head underneath. That would be awesome though, right? I don't think that's the case. That'd be freaking badass, right? Yeah, that'd be super, super awesome. Um, so yeah, it kind of it is what it is. Yeah, no, the head just comes off. There's no there's no head underneath. Um, it is what it is. Uh, you know, cool depiction of the character, cool depiction of the character and, uh, like, the design and all that, but, um, little, little, eh, on the accessories and all that, uh, on the, the play value, I would say. So, if you're a diehard, uh, Power Rangers fan, cool. If you just really like the character and the look, cool, but, you know, I think we're showing off these, there's, there's some little thought that could have gone into this more. It, it is, but it's not, not a winner. The other Lightning Collection figures are, I think, way, way more playable, if that makes sense. 
So, whatever. Uh, if you are into this figure, we'll have links underneath this video. There'll be affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. Help support our site. Thank you for that. So, me support, I want to thank Hasbro for hooking us up with this uh, figure to check out and unbox and review. And thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Power Rangers, if you're into Hasbro, if you're into comics, you know, with Power Rangers, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and cons uh, consistent. Till next time, it's Morphin Time. Keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. You name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.